I don't know what direction this manga is going in. I now see why Moebana was cancelled. Hidari Yokoyama, the mangaka of that series, and Suruko Returns the Favor, is a glacial writer. Each chapter of Suruko plays out like this. The male lead, Niko Kado, says or does something that causes a misunderstanding. Suruko, the female lead, will also say or do something that causes a misunderstanding. Both of them blush towards one another, the supporting cast scream about one thing or another, and then the two leads will resolve their misunderstanding without actually resolving anything. Rinse, repeat, for 20 odd chapters. Suruko Returns the Favor is not an age gap romance. It's not a human drama. I'm not sure what sort of series this is supposed to be, and I don't think the mangaka knows either. Since last summer when this series came out, I've been floored by how stunning the art can be at times. Each chapter opens with a pastel rich color page that emphasizes Yokoyama's ability with digital tools. While the paneling may be sparse and backgroundless, as many Jump Plus manga are, the character design is moe to the extreme. Often, characters will be drawn in a chibi style to lighten the mood. Chibi is an aesthetic that is unfortunately dying, but one that I will always cherish. Yokoyama, clearly a fan of old school romance manga, is able to modernize this approach and slot it exceptionally well within the pages of their bi-weekly serialization. But cute girls doing cute things isn't enough to make up for the barely there plot. Niko Kado goes to a local concept cafe to dig up some dirt on his deceased sister. Each chapter, he gets clues that will help him with his goal, but he never actually says or does anything to acquire that knowledge. When Niko was introduced, he was a stoic, no-nonsense teacher that knew what he wanted. Now, he's a bumbling idiot that can't speak out, tripping through zany moments, constantly moving in the opposite direction. He was barely a likable character at first, but now I kind of want to see the series dump him for a few chapters and focus entirely on Suruko getting over her social anxiety. And that's unfortunate, because I think if the manga went in a more serious direction, it would be much more popular than it currently is. It's taking too long for the plot to progress. Sure, we've seen the king of this series, we've had a couple more maids introduced, but now the supporting cast feels bloated. They don't even properly interact with one another. They all just kind of revolve around what's going on between Niko Kado and Suruko. We've had two festivals in the past six chapters, a birthday celebration, and despite most of the cast being present, we've learned nothing new about them. Yeah, yeah, sure, there have been details of Suruko's past that's been hinted at, but what good is sprinkling hints of drama if it won't be revisited for quite some time? The writing of Suruko Returns the Favor is laid out as if this manga isn't in danger of getting cancelled. Quite frankly, since it went to a bi-weekly schedule, the story has grown cold for me. I strongly believe that if a series is going to be bi-weekly, it needs to be at least 30 pages. Suruko comes in under that number each chapter, so it feels like nothing is really happening. And with a lack of double spreads, stakes, or fan service, I'm not sure how this manga can grow from here on out. If you're interested in a lighthearted high school read with subtle romantic subtext, I'd recommend this manga. It isn't bad by any means, it just meanders. If you came up in the late 90s, early 2000s manga scene like I did, then yeah, you'll probably enjoy what's here. But there are more engaging romances and more flashy artwork to be found in other Jump Plus manga. Suruko is a 4 out of 10.